My name is Leonard Bessemer. I'm a furniture designer, and I describe my style as sculptural, playful, and irreverent. My name is Alex Sue, and I would describe my style as thoughtful, playful, and colorful. The biggest challenge with working with an industrially produced piece of furniture like this is they use very industrial materials, melamine, MDF, so adding in other elements is essential. And so I wanted to change the quality of the light by adding some fun pink acrylic diffusers and continue the transformation by making it feel like you're somewhere else, maybe not in your bedroom, but on a tropical getaway or in a fancy hotel. <laughs> The look I'm going for is like a very high polished children's drawing. It looks very crude in form, but the actual finish makes it all look nice. So like when you get like a weird shaped M&M in the package, like that, where it's completely finished, but is a bit odd. Wow. With this project, I'm gonna get a bit funky with it. Ultimately, I just wanna make it look better. I mean, it's a thing that you use to elevate yourself, so it should also have some aspect of beauty or interest. We are headed to pick up some lumber at Bonhoeff Lumber Yard, and this is my assistant, Sam, who will be helping out today. Gathering materials was a lot of fun for this project because I'm using a lot of different stuff. I found some really cool faux rose quartz acrylic panels, some lovely veneer, and some super cool wallpaper. First things first, I've glued up my giant wood blocks for my legs. I need to cut those down to size and trim off the corners just to make it easier to turn. Once it's on the lathe, then I am going to use a roughing gouge to get the general cylindrical shape. To make the indents, I'm gonna use a combination of two tools. The skew chisel cuts away most of the material at an angle, and then I do the round over with the spindle gouge. I'm planning on painting the base of the frame because it came in this really yellowy powder coat. I'm using a Montana spray paint and it has a rust effect, so it actually has some little particulate in it that creates that little rough texture. I got my general shape done. Now, you know, what I lack in turning skills, I make up in like elbow grease and sanding. I'm just trying to refine my curves a little bit, make things a little more marshmallowy. Next, once my legs are sanded and done, I'm going to drill holes in the top of them and install some hanger bolts. Voila. I'm at my friend Brianna's shop and she's helping me laser cut some templates that I use to route and paint for the vanity. So I prepped some laser cut cloud shapes. I also prepped a template for little raindrops on the surface of the mirror. The laser cutter is super helpful for this pattern. That would actually be really difficult to do otherwise. Since I'm making the acrylic diffusers look like clouds, I thought it would be a fun element to have some rain on the surface of the mirror. So we got some raindrops. It's a little hazy, but I think it'll work. I made a quarter inch MDF template for my mirror frame. This is the same type of wood as the legs, it's poplar. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is draw this onto my frame and then cut out most of the material so it's easier when I take it to the router table because with the flush trim or pattern bits, you don't want to be taking off a ton of material. You want to just get a little bit to replicate the piece. Yeah, so this is the uh, scrap piece of maple I have from a past project. So now I'm going to take it to the table saw with the dado stack and run a channel through the bottom. So now it will fit around the MDF mirror backer. Working in a shared shop like LA Woodshop is also amazing because it provides me access to so many different tools and machines that I otherwise just would never be able to have access to on my own. There you go. Nice little round over. And then I need to create a place for the lighting. So I'm gonna take that frame, I'm gonna drill inch and five eighths holes that the light socket can then fit through. For my next step, I'm going to address the melamine surfaces on the desktop, the drawer faces and the sides. Because this is a very slick, plasticky surface, I'll need to sand it down with some rough grit sandpaper just to create a better surface for the adhesive. That should do it. I don't need to sand it off completely, just taking down some of its plasticiness. So veneer is actually a really, really thin piece of wood. 
it takes stain and finish similarly to solid wood. I normally use an iron-on edge banding that has glue that activates with heat, but for this application, because it's going onto a plastic surface, I'm trying to avoid heating it up, so I'll be using a peel and stick veneer. Next, I'm going to make my acrylic cloud shapes. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trace the template on the stock piece of acrylic that I have. I'm gonna rough cut it on the bandsaw, and then I'm gonna take that to the table router where I'm gonna use the template to flush trim route the exact shape I want. And now, they are the same shape. I'm using the shellac face primer so I can get my paint to stick to the melamine on the dresser. The white was just kind of boring and I kind of wanted to just to create this really standout, monolithic, vivid thing. And I just happened to have some cherry red paint left over from a project and I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to use it. So the mirror comes with a melamine border, and rather than kind of paint it, I thought adding a fun pattern to the perimeter would be a, a nice little touch. This wallpaper is digitally printed, but it has a sticky back, kind of like the veneer. Hot tip from Drew is to hit the edges with either a matching marker or Sharpie, just so the white edges don't really show up. Okay, let me find the instructions for this. Um, you know what, let's just skip to the fun part and we'll put the mirror in. The mirror in the stock dresser is glued to a piece of melamine. I'm gonna use it as is because it's glued on there and I can't get it off, but I'm gonna cut it down a little bit. I wouldn't recommend putting mirrors on your table saw, but I'm a professional and I'm leaving a bit of space. I'm not trying to cut it out exactly. I like it a lot. Feels very jungly, which is what I was going for. If you guys thought IKEA stuff was like hard, this is like AP IKEA. And then, is this the right piece? 21. They like them apples. And basically, we're just trying to line up the holes. Yeah. Beautiful. I'm just gonna glue this frame onto the mirror frame real quick. I have a cable. All my dowels fell out, but it's fine. I'm going to replace the rocker switch that it came with and replace it with a dimmer. So this dimmer switch is nice because you actually don't really need to strip the wires back or anything. It just kind of clips in. Simple as that. So I decided to swap out the bulbs from the ones that this came with because that color temperature is really cold. So I wanted to get the best light LED bulb and that I found in this company called Tala. They make like a very nice frosted glass bulb and the colors are really good. They're perfectly round and that'll contrast my little bit of wobbliness on the side. The diffusers are pretty much all set. Here's the adapter. It just kind of pops on and you can see that there's actually a pretty wide range of motion. Hey Alex, nice to meet you. Hey Leonard, nice to finally meet you virtually. I am excited and a little bit nervous. Hey, Ooh. wow, super fun. Yeah, I went fun. You went classy. Uh, it's actually like right behind me. <laughs> those are some serious chonky legs. Those are great. I'm assuming you, you turned all those? Yeah, I turned all those. The contrast, even with the bulbs and the drawer handles, the color looks really great. 
Oh, thank you. Yeah, I left the drawer handles because I was like, I got to leave something. Like, I just wanted a little nod to the original piece. I'm just like, I really am curious, like, what are all your materials? The cloud shaped diffusers are acrylic. It's like faux rose quartz. They're pinkish in hue and have some like marbling going on in them. I do appreciate the like similarities in ours and this kind of like freeform cloud shape. I think you did a great job. I mean, just like the little touches, like the brass knobs, like the hardware you use was like really nice. And I do like how it kind of also covers the mirror. So you don't end up with this kind of like square, rectangular, stale thing. Are these original bulbs? You swap them out. I had to swap them out, but they're all like frosted glass. They look natural. Like there was no way I could leave those other bulbs exposed. I, I swapped them out as well for some dimmable LED bulbs. How did you decide on the shapes of the legs? I have some lamps that I make. I call them marshmallows, but they're actually Lego heads. They're like double stacked. And I have always wanted to make legs that were like using this form, but I never had the right project or whatnot. I think the mirror frame actually was more successful than the legs, but the mm -hmm. legs I think are what started the project. If I were to change anything, I'd probably go back and make the legs even more wonky too, you know, mm -hmm. to resemble the frame. Mine's going into my future child's room. <laughs> hey, there you go. So if I were to do this again, I would probably give the base maybe a little bit more attention. I was directing most of my focus to the upper half of it because I felt like that would be where the attention of the user viewer would mostly be. But the base could use an overhaul, just being inspired by how nice Leonard's vanity legs are. I was careful not to say Leonard's legs, but <laughs> Leonard's <laughs> You know, you wouldn't be the first person. I'm not going <laughs> to brag, but you know, my legs are okay. When are we going to have the, uh, the gallery opening of all of the custom crafted pieces together? Half the pieces in my house already, so. <laughs> Wait, Alex, move over a little bit. I want to see your vanity from behind. Yeah, there we go. Oh, nice chair. Oh, thank you. I need it. Maybe uh, the next Custom Crafted is making a, a nice stool for, for our vanities. <laughs> <laughs>